Hey angels! So I'm just going to get right into this story time angels. So um, this is about the time when I was working to this place and I felt like I was getting harassed. I got fired and I went bazonkers. Okay? So what happened was Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna name the name of the place that I was working to. I'm not gonna tell you what type of place it was, but I was working to this place, and let's just say everybody was working independently, basically, you know, doing your own thing because everybody knew once you got um once you got um, training for the job and you knew what you were doing. Um, you were just basically working on your own. So it's like a type of independent type of job. Okay. So I was working to this place for like maybe I would say a year and three to four months. Okay. So I had this boss. He was a man. He was an irritating, annoying ass man. Okay. And, um, Basically, in the beginning, everything was going fine, you know. I come to work, I mind my business, you know, I tried to stay out of all the drama, the BS, because trust me, there was a lot of drama and BS going on around that place, okay? I tried to stay out of all of that. I did stay out of all of that because I'm just not that person, like... I don't want to join in BS and drama, okay? I just want to come and work, get my job done, and get the hell out of there. So, okay. Basically, like I said, I came to work every day, mind my damn business. You know, trying to stay out of the BS and the drama. And just try to get my job done and get out of there. So, after a little while, basically, as I started coming into work, the supervisor lady, which was another drama starter that irked me, after a while she would come up to me and tell me, oh, the boss says that he wants you to move um, up here closer so, you know, he can see you so he'll be able to watch you. Okay, I'm thinking... What the hell does he want to watch me for? Like, that doesn't even sound, that don't sound right. What the hell? He wants to watch me? For what? Sounds straight up creepy, okay? And I wasn't doing anything but minding my damn business and trying to get the hell up out of there when I'm done with my work, okay? So I don't understand why, why in the hell he wants to watch me. Okay, so she would come to me after a while and tell me, oh, he wants to watch you, so we're moving you up here closer today so you could be watched. Okay, at the beginning, I let that stuff go, and I just moved. And basically, I was the only one they did that to. And, you know, it was just annoying, and it pissed me the hell off, and I, I just, I couldn't stand it, but... Because I wanted my job, I just let it go for a while. So basically, I would say after this was happening, maybe for a good off and on for about four months of me not really saying anything about it. I said little stuff here and there, but nothing big. I just did what they told me to do. So after that, um, one day I came in and, you know, everything was going fine. I thought everything was good. I was trying to do my work. And she comes and tells me the same thing. And basically, she told me, okay, he wants you right here. So I paid her no mind. And I just went up where I usually work at. Because that's where I enjoyed working at. And that's where I was going to stay. Because I was getting tired tired of being 
moved around like I'm doing something and I know I'm not doing anything so I was like not today so I went and started doing what I normally do and didn't pay her any mind so next thing I know I guess she goes back and tell him that I wasn't you know listening to them so he comes and tells me oh no not you can't work here today I want you to move this place because you have to be watched and I need to watch you and I said no I'm gonna stay where I usually work at and he was like no I said you're gonna move today and you're gonna work down here because you need to be watched and I said and I said I'm gonna work where I usually work at and he said oh so you're not gonna move and I said no I'm not I'm gonna stay right here where I usually work every day and mind my business and I'm gonna do my work that's what I'm gonna do so he was like okay follow me in the office and he was like I'm gonna terminate you and so I was like I don't give a damn if you terminate me who gives a care I said and I started walking behind him and I was like cursing him out I was like you M F for this you M F you M F for that I don't care fire me who cares fire me I'm tired of your shit Fire me who gives a care. I'll be glad if you fire me. Matter of fact, I'm tired of this place. I'm tired of coming to this place. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of the supervisor. I'm tired of you all. This job is getting on my freaking nerves. I don't care if you fire me. Who gives a care? So I was just walking behind him the whole time down the hall as we were going to his office. And... I was, you know, yelling and screaming all of this stuff behind him. And um, he kept looking back like, you know, he didn't know what I was going to do. Good thing he was looking back because, you know what, at that point, I didn't know what I was going to do either. But anyway, so as we were walking to his office, I passed the supervisor and she was looking in my face like, you know, what's going on or whatever. I gave her this nasty look and called her a, a bitch. And then I said, you know, I asked her what was she looking at. And then I finished with him and I said, I'm tired of this damn place. I don't care if you fire me. Go ahead and do what you got to do because I'm better off without being here. And to go on to say that I was just cursing him out and telling him off. And he was like, okay. So he, um whatever he did in that office I don't remember but he said I was fired or whatever and then he was like um okay you can go now I'm about to call the police if you don't leave the building I was like I don't care call the MF and police do it who gives up freaking care I said I don't give a F call the damn cops who cares so I continued on and you know when I got finished I got the hell up out of there because actually I did not want to go to jail but I definitely wanted to finish off what I had to do because first of all I worked to that place over a year I worked my ass off you know I did so much and I was mad that you know I got played like that so I made sure I tell him exactly how I felt about him okay and how much I didn't care about him firing me so when I was done I made sure I left the building fast and I just got out of there and I went home so yeah guys that's the time when um I had this crazy boss and you know he was just bothering me for basically no reason at all I used to come to work mind my business you know try to do a, a good job and get out of there but 
it was just something every day, you know, he was nagging me, bothering me, saying, oh, he wants to move me every day. And I was the only one this was getting um, done to. You know, so basically I got fed up, I got tired, and I just, I went bazookers, bazookers. I couldn't take it anymore. So thanks so much, guys, um, for um, listening to this crazy story. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Bye, guys.